Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPI Baja Tutorials.com. We are going to work on the second part of page number 27 in your HPI Baja SS manual and put together the rear axle assembly. And we're also going to take this time to introduce several new parts. Um, we're not going to use them to build the HPI SS right now because we're doing a stock build but I'm going to show you several parts that you may want to consider purchasing to help make the rear end of the Baja a lot more bulletproof. There are some, some parts that will make your life much easier down the road. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reach into our bag D and we're going to remove some parts. And the first bag that we're going to remove is going to contain our out drives and some bearings. And we're going to go ahead and empty all of these parts into our parts bed. Make sure that there's nothing left in the bag and go ahead and discard that. And those are going to be your two out drives. They're also going to be two hinge pins and there's going to be a set of four bearings. Let's go ahead and set those all in your parts tray. We are also going to go ahead and remove the two axles from that bag. I'm going to go ahead and set these over. And there's also some thread lock in here that you can use if you don't already have some thread lock. There's some additional thread lock for you. We have our own, so we're going to set that over to the side. <laughs> we're also going to need the part number 85424-5 and there's two of those they're located on this tree right here and there's two of them and the dash 5 is the smaller of the two pieces that you see here we're gonna go ahead and remove those from the, the tree and make sure that they are all trimmed up properly and don't have any tree tabs on them We'll go ahead and this is the only parts we need to trim so we'll quickly do that. I'm going to take one off. We're going to go ahead and file this part back over, this tree back over into our parts bin. And we're going to go ahead and remove the second unit from the other tree. File that over to the side. Go ahead and clean up the tree tab on there to get us going. Okay, I believe that that's all the parts that we're going to need. And I also do believe that that empties out our parts bag D. So we can go ahead and dispose of that parts bag at this point. We are going to start off by showing you the out drive. Or these are the axles. And the product that we're going to introduce you to at this time is made by Turtle Racing and it is a reinforced drive axle cup and you can see that they've gone ahead and they've added a retaining ring around this. What happens as you start to use them and as you get more power in, into your engines as you take off your dog bones are going to end up breaking these off. Um, it's something that does happen quite often and Turtle Racing has come up with a product that uh, is just second to none for that. You can buy them along with uh, the rest of his diff kits and, and whatnot or you can buy them separately or you can buy them with dog bones as combinations so you can go ahead and uh, go to your favorite uh, fifth scale retailer and ask for the turtle products on that and you'll see that it's just a, a beautiful product um, however we are going to use the stock units for the build today I'm also going to introduce you to a replacement for your your outer wheel area and this is made of alloy and it's by ADA racing it's a beautiful part and again it's a lot of times as you get more power these units can can warp a little bit and end up ruining your day so ADA has come up with a, a beautiful part for that so I wanted to show that to you today the third part that we're going to show you is the Dark Soul rear axle extenders. You can take a look at the stock unit 
and then the dark sole unit and it gives you about an extra inch on each side which is a huge improvement in stability so again these are three products that I would highly suggest that you go out and take a look at if not to build your original SS with you're gonna want to get them after you've built your SS uh, as an upgrade when you can use all three pieces individually by themselves or you can put them all together which in my opinion is going to be one of the most solid outdrives that you're going to have available for you with the least amount of uh, maintenance and the most stability that you can buy for your money so it's just something to recommend for our first step in getting this going we're going to go ahead and place our bearings into the into the uh, cups here if you'll remember correctly in your tools bag you're going to have a little bearing press which I suggest that you do use and you get out one of the very few products that we are substituting is going to be the stock bearings that come with the HPI Baja with the Team Fast Eddy Pro Series bearing kit so we're going to go ahead and reach in and we're going to remove four of the wheel bearings which we're going to be using for this step we're going to go ahead and place those on our table and we're going to go ahead and put the stock bearings back into the reusable container here you never know when you might need an extra set we don't like to throw things away so again that's the Team Fast Eddy Pro Series bearing kit and we are going to recommend that you you do use all of our bearings for your build what we're going to do at this point is go ahead and place one of our bearings in the front you can use your fingers to press it in if you would like some of them go in easier than others I'm going to press the front one in I'm going to go ahead and try to press the rear one in and it's going in okay it snapped right in I'm um, just as a precaution to make sure that they are fully seated we're going to go ahead and use our bearing press that was in your toolkit that you got from HPI and go ahead and make sure that the bearings are fully pressed all the way in we're gonna grab an Allen wrench we're gonna go ahead and snug that up you don't want to go too tight because this bearing press I have broke them in the past from trying to snug them up too much but let's go ahead and uh, repeat the process on the second one we'll remove our bearing press go ahead and take our Team Fast Eddy Pro Series bearings gonna use our thumb that one actually snapped right in went, went in beautifully gonna go from the other side and that one's a little bit harder to get in and again just to make sure that they're fully seated we're gonna go ahead and use our bearing press make sure that they get all the way in just like so I'm going to go ahead and remove it and we're going to uh, reassemble the bearing press once we've taken it off and that way we're not going to lose any parts we're going to go ahead and file it back into our tools bag so that we can use it later on when we need it